Hello everyone and welcome to class. Today's class we'll be looking into naming of organic compounds. Okay. Well, organic chemistry originally meant the chemistry of compounds obtainable from plant and animals living organism. Today, organic chemistry is effectively defined defined as the chemistry of carbon together with a few other elements like hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and so forth. So, organic chemistry is defined as the chemistry of carbon because they are majorly hydrocarbons. They're always consisting of carbon and hydrogen and any other substituent. A comparatively small number of series of families of a compound is known as homologous series. Yeah, the simplest series of a compounds in organic chemistry is the arcane. And they have the molecular formula of CnH2n plus 2, where n is number of terms. And if n is 1, we have that as methane. We insert 1 in the molecular formula and we have the molecular formula of methane to be CH4. We also have that for ethane, which is 2. We insert 2 in the general molecular formula and we have the molecular formula of ethane to be c 2 H6 and so on and so forth. For three is propane. Okay, then we move to the functional group and homologous series. A functional group is an atom or a radical that's group of atoms or a bond common to a homologous series which determines the main chemical properties of the series. Um, what uh, a functional group does is to determine the main chemical property of the series so for example where we have the functional group of oh it means alcohol, um alcohol or rather alcanol alcanols okay so where we have uh, for carboxylic acid which is c o o h yes so that's carboxylic acid or alcanoic acid now we'll move to saturated compounds i'm just letting you know the basics of organic chemistry so that when it comes to naming we'll be able to name them effectively are you following saturated compounds and is a, is a is an organic compound that contains where the atom are joined only by a single covalent bond and the only, we have just one saturated compound which is an alkane it has a single bond the bond between the carbon and any other atom is just one is single whereby the saturated compound a compound that contain atoms joined only by double and triple covalent bond so hydrocarbons that form in this group are called arcane with the molecular formula of CnH2n and alkyne with the molecular formula of CnH2n minus 2 so i have an illustration here for you where we have um n equals to 2 that's for a chain we have the formula to be c 2 h 6 for a team is c 2 h 4 for a time which has triple bond is c 2 h 2 all right so we'll move to the naming of organic compound there are rules guiding naming of organic compound the first rule is to take the con the longest continuous carbon chain as the root hydrocarbon and name it according to the number of carbon atoms it contains adding the appropriate suffix to indicate the principal substituent i have listed out examples for you and i'm just going to take you through that it says that the first rule is to take the longest continuous carbon chain as the root hydrocarbon as the major hydrocarbon then name it according to the number of carbon atoms you know like i told you the number of carbon atoms one is methane two is ethane three is propane okay and so on and so forth four is butane so if you have a um an hydrocarbon like in this example here the example below we have one the first compound we have one two three four five six if we are counting from the right this same compound also if you count from here we would have it as one two three four five it has to be the longest chain or that when you are counting is it's going to be something that that you can't break the longest chain so we have about two yes chain here but the longest is the one with six so you have to name it as x exane and this is the root hydrocarbon 
okay the second this the second rule says that the number of carbon that you should number the carbon atom in the root hydrocarbon from the end which will give the lowest number to the suffix and prefix so you number it in a way that will give us the lowest number where they have suffix that's when they, or, or in other places where they have substituent the, okay we, we have that in example here look at this example where we have um exine if we count from the right we'd have one two three four five six you see the substituent can you see the substituent that's ch3 from if you're counting from here one two three four is on number four but if you count it from the back you have one two three is on number three so you choose the lowest number three and four which one is lower three definitely so we have it as three methyl exane remembering that exane is the lo longest carbon chain which is six so three methyl exane okay ha and you should also indicate the other substituent by prefix preceded by numbers to show their position on the carbon i've done that for you the position of methyl is dot three then you put hyphen methyl exane then when we have um let's look at further examples yeah look at the second example we have one two three four five six so six this is the longest carbon chain and that is exane it's single but you write exane right you put it down so now we're going to we are going to count um the substituent attached to it which one gives us the lowest number if we count from the right we have one two three four five six you see that your substituent are on number four and five if you count from behind you have one two three that's your substituent are on two and three so you choose the lowest number which is two and three so you start with two hyphen bromo comma three methyl then the root hydrocarbon exane i hope that's clear okay these we have further examples this compound is um the longest carbon chain the first thing you do is well is what one two three four five six the longest carbon chain is six so you write exane now you're going to count um the from the end that will give you the lowest number and that end is what counting from here from the right one two three four that's two and four if you count from behind you're going to be having three and five so we'll be using two and four and this substituent ch3 is called methyl it is appearing two times so you write the position in which they occur two comma four dimethyl exane all right so uh, we have in the case where we now have two different substituents two you count the same way if we, our longest carbon chain is exane okay i'm mean, just using exane you can have different um type it could be pentane it could be ethane it could be propane but for the sake of this class, I'm just using exane. So if you use, if you count from the right, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's two and four. And we're going to be using that because that's the lowest that can give us. But you note that you're going to arrange them alphabetically. The first substituent here is methyl, starting from M. The second one is ethyl, starting from E. So E comes before M. So you write the position of E first. That's four I think ethyl two methyl exane. Okay. So in summary, organic compounds are majorly hydrocarbon. There's carbon and hydrogen with other substances such as oxygen, nitrogen, and the halogens. And alkanes are saturated hydrocarbon with molecular formula CnH2n plus 2 while alkenes and alkynes are unsaturated hydrocarbon with molecular formula CnH2n and CnH2n 
H2N minus 2 respe respectively. And there are rules guiding naming of organic compounds. This is very important. You should, number one, you should take the longest continuous carbon chain as well as the root hydrocarbon, then number the carbon atom in the root hydrocarbon from the end, which will give the lowest number to the suffix and prefix. Indicate the other substituent by prefixes preceded by numbers, numbers to show their position on the carbon. And in a situation where when we have two different alkyl groups as substituents to one organic compounds, they should be named based on the one that came first alphabetically. Okay, so I have assignments here for you to do on your own, and I hope to get feedback from you. Thank you. Thank you.